Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today's video is really, really exciting. So as you can tell from the title of today's video, I am going to go and get microneedling done on my face. As you guys might have known, I have been going to get facials done to sort out all the spots on my face and the spots caused from the stress of moving and everything like that. So I am actually taking steps to try and get this sorted. So today I have actually asked if the person doing my facial would mind if I film the facial and just sort of show you guys what it's like because I've never had microneedling done before so I'm a bit nervous. So I thought I'd bring you guys along just to see the journey and I'll give you a bit of an update on how my skin looks. So this is how my skin looks now. So as you can see I have all these red marks. These aren't actually spots, like they're flat, there's no like rays to them. So there's no spots there. They are just marked where spots were. So my aesthetic person, I don't really call them. Um, she is called Demi and she works for Elegance in Lee, Lowton, Manchester. We'll just say Elegance in Manchester. And she is absolutely lovely. So she has kindly allowed me to go and film while I get my facial done. So I thought I'd show you guys before and after. So, so if you want to see what microneedling is like and my first thoughts and how my skin looks, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have arrived. I am 10 minutes early for my appointment because with my anxiety as well, I like to be early for appointments and not late. Even if I know where they are, it's just something in my head. I just can't cope with being late or even on time. I like to be early and I just like to sit in my car, take a few breaths and then go in. So I have arrived and I'm so excited to get this done. I've been waiting six weeks. So this is what it looks like in natural light. Um, so obviously I have like a sunroof so you can see it a bit better. It's not awful i have had worse skin but it's not as good as it could be and i'm so excited because it's just before my 20th birthday and i hope i look amazing so i'm gonna head inside in about five minutes and just wait in the waiting room so i'm all set up to have my skin done that's so excited look at this room it is insane look at that i want that mirror in my room just so you guys know so i'm all set up and we're going to do two different serums one's a whitening and one's for scarring so that'll be good i'm actually gonna hit my head in this light <laughs> but no so excited this is a very flattering angle you want me to put this on you are now yeah yeah I, don't lift really your head up. I used to wear cat ears on my videos oh, yes. ah. when i started <laughs> i was obsessed i know a lot of people wear that when they do the makeup don't they and stuff yeah. like the disney ears and things i used like to that. wear them out like ah. to work and things i love that <laughs> That's definitely something that I would do. It's cute. It is. Such a flattering angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do your cleanse now. Yeah. If you want to start filming the cleanse. Perfect. my boyfriend he should come and get a facial and he's like mm, no <laughs> oh so many lads do so i said to him i said oh look i show him your instagram i'm like look at this and he's like no <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i'm not doing it so i'm just prepping your skin now mm-hmm this is just to make sure that the surface is sterile so that when we start needling no bacteria there. What does it actually feel like? Microneedling. Yeah. It's like a nice scratch. That is the best way to describe it. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it does feel nice, it doesn't hurt, I promise. That's fine. And I'm gonna do your extractions now. Oh, this is the worst bit. <laughs> I hate this bit. I think I hate this bit more than anything else. I know, it's not the nicest. Makes my eyes water. I know, it makes everyone's <laughs> eyes water. I'm horrible.
So it's a cocktail of, what did you say, whitening so and... It's skin whitening and also scarring treatment. And what it's going to do is help diminish the redness in the scarring and then lift the scarring as well. So, so I always work in sections. We always do forehead this way, that way, chin, nose. Mm-hmm. Don't know why, I just do. So I'm going to start on a 0.5 on your forehead and we'll probably go deeper on the areas that we need to. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm nervous, but I'm happy. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's like... Oh, I see what you mean. It's strange, isn't it? Like, it doesn't hurt, but you do feel it. Yeah. stamp in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pen up slightly mm-hmm. and I'm just going to hold it over these certain areas and it may come up redder but that's normal because what I'm doing is I'm pushing this further into your skin. Can you feel any difference? When you go on it I can but then when you hold it on there no. I don't feel anything. It's crazy isn't it? Yeah. So that's because of the way that it pulses back and forth into the skin and it doesn't drag so it's a lot safer. So how long does the redness last? So it can normally last, we say a couple of hours. Worst case scenario for your skin is quite sensitive, around about 24 hours. Oh right, okay. And you can wear makeup tomorrow. Oh, I do look red. (laughs) Yeah. I look crazy. This may sting slightly, okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it will go so basically this is what I've already used on your skin but I'm just flushing the open channels that are already there mm-hmm. again with more serum so I rub it into the areas yeah no I'm sorry I'll stop pre-worn always pre-worn <laughs> <laughs> pre-worn as you put your hands on your face it's going to sting it's going to sting slightly perfect So what I'm going to do now is Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop over your Intense Collagen Repair Mask. And this is going to help with the redness, the heat, and just to soothe your skin. glowy your skin looks gorgeous so where I've gone over um, you know like the redness so this Mm -hmm. bit here and on the other side as well it will look redder but it's only because the rest of your skin is redder so we just brought blood to the surface Mm alright so don't worry and as well under this light you look a hell of a lot redder than what you will when you stand up because it's so bright I feel amazing you look amazing (laughs) It's going to feel nice and tight. Yeah, yeah, it feels so good. Good, and then what I'm going to do to finish off is just pop on your Hydro Soothing Cream mm-hmm. and this will just keep your skin nice and protected after you needling. This may again sting a little tiny bit, but nowhere near as bad as the other one, I promise. Oh no, the serum was like... Pain. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That's the worst bit. Mm.
okay guys so I have just got home as you can see from the video it went really really well but my face is extremely red right now Demi has said that this is because she has put or gone in deeper on the parts with the redness and then the rest of the skin is going to be red anyway due to the fact that she has put a needle over it so it is slightly irritated but I want to say a massive thank you to Demi for letting me video this experience since it is new to me I've never done it before and I thought it would be good for you guys to see what it's about and just get some like first hand like what happened how it felt but when she put the needle on it felt like a scratch on a sunburn so it's not really painful um i wouldn't say it's like amazing it is amazing like it feels amazing because you know it's doing good for your skin but i know if you sat there for ages it would hurt when she did go in deeper onto these parts it felt weird when she touched my skin but then when it did this because this is the motion that it does all over your skin um it didn't feel like anything and it wasn't painful at all Obviously I did have a bit of blood but I didn't even notice until she pointed it out. Obviously I was filming so I could see a little bit but until she pointed it out I didn't notice like it wasn't as if it suddenly hurt and like blood came out. It was just a little bit of blood um, which is quite normal. It's not like, un like unnatural because you are putting needle in needles into your face. So what I am going to do is I'm going to leave it about two days. So I'll come back here on Thursday and I'll give you a bit of an update on how my skin looks um, because it is really red at the minute and I'm hoping it does go down a little bit but I will link Demi's um, Instagram down below so you can go check that out she is absolutely amazing and she's such a nice person so I absolutely love going to see her to get my skin done and it's just like excitement for me so I'll link that down below for you guys and yeah I'm gonna I'm very happy with my skin and I can't wait to see what it looks like and I'm gonna check back in with you on Thursday Hi guys, so it is now Thursday, so it's been two days since I had my skin done. So I thought I would come on here and just give you a bit of an update. So my skin is quite red still. The spots are slowly going down, apart from I have got a spot here and a spot here. So I think that is just where my skin got irritated by the microneedling. But I thought I'd still do this update for you guys, just to show you how my skin looks after two days. Oh, uh, yesterday my skin was still red as Demi did say it could last a couple of hours to 24 hours so my skin is quite sensitive so that lasted for about 24 hours of that really red skin um, but these red marks are slowly going down so I am just washing my face with a cleanser toning and moisturizing so I'm not doing my full regime for about a week just so that I'm not irritating my skin anymore so I can't exfoliate I'm not going to do any face masks. I can wear makeup, so that is one thing. But until Tuesday next week, I won't be exfoliating or doing anything harsh to my skin, just so I can let it sort of just do its thing with what Demi has done with the microneedling. But so far, I absolutely love this. So I think I might do another update in about a month because Demi did say that I will see quite a bit of change in a month. So two days is probably not long enough. But I wanted to just give you a bit of an update just to show you where it is so you're not expecting like that for your skin to be clear because obviously that's not feasible. It is a process and it does take time but after two days I am very very happy of how my skin looks and yeah just give you an update in a month and like the process and what is happening. Okay guys so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did don't forget to give a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I upload on a Wednesday, Friday and a Sunday at 7pm. So don't forget to ring the bell as well and follow me on my social media which is always linked down below. Don't forget to also go and check out Demi's Instagram which is also linked down below for you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. We are aiming for 100 subscribers at the minute because Callum has said when I hit 100 subscribers he is going to let me turn him into a drag queen and everyone wants to see that. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, comment below any other videos you want to see and any other sort of skincare videos you might want to see. And I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.